What's going on everybody and welcome to another episode of Junkyard Breaks. I've had a hell of a time the last like five or six videos. They all came out horrible. Um, all the audio is crackling. Um, there was an echo. I found out that I... Well, I wasn't playing them back. I was just recording one after another after another, thinking that everything was working. And um, uh, Windows needed to restart and update. And that just magically fixed everything. I don't know what happened. So This video um, is going to be a uh, hybrid mail call flea market find for me. Um, Nick just did his flea market find. We just went to, um, uh, where do we go? Uh, Blue Ridge Flea Market in Pennsylvania. There's a couple of guys that I like to visit there. Um, they usually give me pretty good deals on uh, sports cards. That's where I got my second year Jordan uh, for $40, I think I, he gave, him, gave it to me for. So, I mean, he didn't have a lot of good, he did, he had 55, a lot of 55 Bowman, but he, and he was only looking for five bucks a card. Um, I was really looking for perfectly centered, good corners, the, all this stuff was kind of round, even for five bucks, it was probably a really good deal. Um, I probably could have got them all for a good deal. Uh, but instead, I spent an hour at his table going through his uh, dime dime boxes. So um, I'm going to go over with you guys um, what I got in the dime boxes. Um, starting with, obviously, Nolan Ryan here. Let me just change my volume real quick. Alright, that's better. So um, all of these cards were a dime um, because I've dealt with him before I rounded everything up um, to the nearest dollar so I think I even gave him a little bit more but it's, it was worth it so we got a 85 top this so I think all in I spent eleven dollars and then I got another card so I think I gave him like a hundred bucks for everything you'll see the other card so uh, obviously Nolan Ryan 85 tops record breaker these are 89 Dunruss that's a 91 Dunruss 88 Dunruss. All these 88 tops. Uh, what are they? Four of those. So I got this Kerry Wood. That's I don't think that's his rookie. Scoreboard. 97 scoreboard Kerry Wood. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen this card before. Juan Gonzalez rookie. Uh, Joey Galloway rookie for a dime. That wasn't bad. This is also that playoffs. So this is like where they started that really... Um, the hard stock, the card stock. This is like um, Diamond Kings, where they do the the frames. I don't. I've never seen this before. Intimidation. This is from EXL. Uh, Maguire score uh, 90. Maguire score. This is 89 score. A Josh Hamilton rookie for a dime. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Uh, so this subset, these uh, Fleer medals, 96s, uh, Goldfinger subset. I know I had the Jerry Rice Goldfingers. That card was like 10 bucks. so I figured this Joey, Joey Galloway would be worth a few dollars. Uh, this is Manny Ramirez, Barrage. It just says Barrage, Barrage. Black Diamond, Upper Deck. Not bad for a dime. Uh, Diamination, Diamination, Black Diamond, Manny Ramirez. I don't even know what year this is. Uh, 1999. Steve McNair. I don't even know who makes this set. Was this Absolute? Playoff. It's like one of their QB club cards. It's pretty cool. I got a couple of Trent Green rookies. I don't know. <laughs> For a dime, why not? Marshawn Lynch is one of his early years. Actually, this might be his rookie. I grabbed it because I knew a lot. I mean, I knew when I saw him Buffalo. It was one of his first few years. So that might be a Marshawn Lynch rookie. I don't know. i got to look it up. 
Jerry Stackhouse rookie for a dime. Keith Brooking for a dime. I'm not going to say that anymore for a dime. Uh, Platinum Power, Manny Ramirez. This is a die cut. Carlos Delgado rookie. I got three of those. David Wright Exponential and David Wright Spectrum. That's the same set. This is the uh, not SPX. It's just I forgot what the name of this set is. Spectrum. Brian Cushing rookie. Nice shape too. Frank Gore Icons subset. Uh, these are a couple of uh, 88 Tops football. Marcus Allen, Jim Kelly. I just picked out like the stars, Warren Moon. I mean, they might even be only worth 40 cents, but for a dime, why not? Chipper Jones, Stadium Club. Uh, that is a Jason Seahorn rookie, kind of. I know he played for USC. So this is like classic. So, I mean, they did the college. Mike Madonna rookie, two Mike Madonna rookies. I asked him, I was like, am I the first one to go through this box? Because there's a lot of good stuff in here. Jalen Rose, I think that's his rookie. Yep, Jalen Rose rookie, along with these two Jalen Rose rookies. I couldn't pass up 82 tops Keith Hernandez. 81 tops, no, 82 tops Keith Hernandez. Dave Parker. 85 Don Russ Allen Trammell. 85 tops Gooden. Johnny Franco rookie, I think. Yeah, 85. This is just an old Joe Theismann card. 1982 Joe Theismann, Redskins. It's a little worn, but eh. I grabbed a few Herschel Walker cards. Um, that dude's a, he was a stud at the time. I don't know if, um, I doubt these cards are worth anything. Griffey. I mean, second year Griffey. Hold on, I just started getting some weird feedback. Go. Another 88 tops, Nolan Ryan. This is a Jason Williams Skywalker. I don't know if you guys remember Jason Williams. I highly recommend you watch his YouTube videos of his uh, his highlights because this dude was amazing back then, back in the day. Um, so yeah, Jason Williams Skywalkers. This is from 2001. This is a Drew Bledsoe SPX or SP. That is his second year, I think. Michael Kopech, draft class from Prism. <laughs> Thought that was a good deal. I picked up a few Eddie Georges. I think there's a there's a few Eddie Georges in this grouping. There's not much more, I promise you. Mark McGuire, Goodwin. Mark McGuire, this is Stadium Club. Marino, Elway, Pro Set. Uh, that's the Griffey Jr., 91 Donruss. 83 Donruss, Ozzy Smith. It's nice shape too. A little off center. Jerry Rice. Can't pass those up. Tops Gallery. Randy Johnson. That's a really nice card too. Steven Davis rookie. John Elway, Tools of the Game. So I picked up a bunch of these um tracks. These looked old. Nineteen ninety two. I don't know. But I there were Dale Earnhardt and Richard Petty were the ones that I grabbed. I left the rest of it behind. I probably should have grabbed like even if there was like a Tony Stewart, that would have been like early for him. I think this might be pre Tony Stewart, but I grabbed er, I grabbed all the Earnhardts and Richard Petty's. Sosa's second year is another Earnhardt. Uh, ben Grief uh, rookie. This is a uh, Bobby Bradley Eric Munson rookie. AJ Hawk rookie. I grabbed all of them, four of them. Uh, this is the Griffey checklist. It's not, obviously, as not much as, as the Griffey regular card. Kukoc rookie. Um, this is a nice one. This is a 1984, 84, right? Yep, 84 tops, Nolan Ryan, Carlton Seaver leaders card. <laughs> Movo, and I don't know why. Grabbed the Movo and rookie. A-Rod Starstruck, another Herschel Walker, I think this is, uh, yeah, 89, 89 tops. Dontrell Willis rookie, I thought that was pretty cool. Doug Flutie, numbered to 900, I mean it's 900, but, I mean it's still numbered. There was a couple of numbered cards in there, I grabbed all of them, I didn't even know who they were. Chris Creeder, numbered to 399, it was a red parallel. Corey Perry, same, 399, I grabbed another Herschel Walker. Cam Newton. This is his second year, I think. 
Maybe his rookie. Ken Griffey Jr., Ken Griffey Jr. I, like, I just grabbed the run of him. I was like, oh, Ken Griffey Jr. for a dime? Yep. Griffey, Griffey. Strawberry, this is an 85, number one draft pick. Daryl Strawberry card. Steve Young. Elway. And uh, Barry Sanders, pro set. So all that brought me to, at a dime, it was like 11 or 1080, and I was like, just make it 11, it's fine. Then he said, um, hey, I know you like old old stuff. I got this um, 1953, 1953 Warren's Fawn. It's in really, really nice shape, minus the off-centering. The edges and corners, I mean, I, it's just cut rough, but I think that's okay. It's acceptable for that time, that era. There's one kind of a soft corner down here, but even if this gets a four, these things retail for 350 and he gave it to me for 60 bucks, 65 bucks. So I thought that was a good deal. No, 80 bucks, yeah. Still, it was a good deal. So, yeah, Warren's fun. I think it's a 53 tops. Thought that was really cool. Uh, there was a guy right next to him, a table a few down, and uh, he was basketball. So, uh, let's see. Let's see what I got. I got five cards from him. I'm, I'm, oh, and this Robinson Cano was in that pile too, because Bowman's best, Robbie Cano. Not a rookie. I think this is like fifth or sixth year, but it's Bowman's best. It's cool. Um, so I got, I got basketball from him. Um, so starting with the um, the Ja Morant Morant Mosaic rookie, I gave him twenty bucks for this. I thought that was a fair deal. I think they're going for twenty bucks. So I just want to. I know. I know in a couple of years this will not be 20 bucks, so I thought that was fair. Then I got a um, Zion rated rookie. This is the B card. This is the the main card, but uh, again, 20 bucks. So I can't go wrong with Zion right now. Uh, looks good. Centering looks good. I don't know how they would gauge it top to bottom, but I mean it's it looks like a nine because it's a little shorter here than there, but not much. So let's just say a nine if I did go get it graded. Then um, let's just say I got this. I got the Zion Prism Red Parallel or Pink Parallel. I gave him sixty for this. Um, it's hard to tell because there's a lot of there's a couple of comps where they clearly it was a one bid comp so you don't know if they were trying to um, change the market on this card so based on what I saw I think I paid about retail for now um, but I'm happy with that it's a it's a parallel Zion prism and uh, prison and mosaic are pretty good for basketball um, I might go out and get the other optic rated rookie. I think it's going for like 30 or 40 bucks. I might go grab that one because it's just it's more iconic with the rated rookie symbol. I love it. Um, and last but not least, I got a uh, I got a Luca. I had to get this card. I I saw it in the case and I was like, how much? Um, also a little off center. It's shorter here than it is here. I gave him 80 for this. I think they're going for raw. I think they're going over 100, 120 right now. So I think I got a good deal. Um, I really like this card. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. Yeah. So if you want, let's get into some... Um, that's flea market finds. We'll post this as a flea market find, but we got a couple of mail call things. I got four big, big boxes that we'll go over in another video. But um, we'll do these three small packets right now because they're kind of cool. So first, this I got in an auction. It was an accident. I, <laughs> I paid more in shipping than this card is even worth. It's a first class 
uh, Hideki Matsui, number 299. I bought this card for 50 cents. I think I paid $4 to ship it, so I'm in for $4.50. Uh, I don't know what this card is worth. I gotta look it up. I'll put the eBay slidey thing so you'll know. I, I'm I'm sure I overpaid for this. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but this is cool. This is the first of two cool cards. So th now I know I didn't overpay. I I'm right at retail, but I um I feel like these these 80s cards, these 80s rookies, even though, you know, somebody as um, troubled as Dwight Gooden, he still is one of the best pitchers in the 80s that we had ever seen. So, and and on top of that, there is going to be an 86 um, Met documentary. I did take that into account when I bought this. Um, I, I, I And it's a gem in 10, so I did not pay a lot but I paid enough <laughs> let's just say that and I got his partner in a gem mint 10 I got the 83 tops traded Daryl strawberry in a gem mint 10 I got a great deal on this because as I was looking at the comps I paid three hundred dollars less for this thing than the comp than some of the comps I don't know if the guy made a mistake or um, but these these cards are selling for 670 gem in 10 and I got it for 290 so I think I got a pretty good deal on it um, I think it's the old case it is the old case but I mean it's an 83 tops traded it's not a Tiffany but it's a tops traded gem in 10 Daryl strawberry rookie so yeah, I think, I mean, I think these things will be worth it down the road. I, I, I feel like I made a good choice. I, um, I'm, I point these out just because I want you guys to know what I'm investing in or what I'm keeping an eye out for. Um, I'm certainly not bragging. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at 86 Met stuff, or at least Strawberry and, and Daryl. Uh, I've, did in a couple of auctions that I just finished I did pick up a couple of Gary Carter rookies um, they seem of the of the three main 75 tops rookies Brett Yount and Carter Carter seems to be the most affordable right now so I'm grabbing them while I can because Brett and Yount are already they're pretty high especially in 10 because 75 tops is really hard to with the um, the colored cards is the edges are almost impossible to keep really really nice actually I got one more let's do this little auction I don't even I honestly don't know what's in here um, paper let's see what we got I, I got a lot coming yeah, there's no... Oh, wow. Okay. This one's special. <laughs> I wish I knew... Um, you know what? For Because you guys should know what I'm... What I paid for this stuff. I want to get the... The auction up. Let's see. Yeah, I know these... This box got shent, sent to me insured, so... So to, to let you, what I'm doing now is I'm investing in um, old Hall of Famers rookies in good condition, in nice condition, not graded uh, raw. I would I would like to get them graded, but I don't mind grading them myself. So let's see, oh, that's a wrong tab. Items I've purchased. Now some of these I, I, I paid a pretty penny for, but they are they were so nice that I could not pass them up. And I think I still paid way under market. Let me find this auction real quick. Sorry guys.
All right, here it is. So, I paid. Let's see. These are these are the nicest cards out of that auction. Okay. All right. So the first card I got was a. Um, I paid. Um, it's a little off centered from left to right. I paid fifteen dollars for it. It's a John Stockton rookie. Um, it's nice. The, I mean, the corners and edges are fantastic. It's just a little off center. Same front to back. So I paid fifteen bucks for that. Uh, next is the Reggie Miller rookie. I paid sixteen bucks for this. Also nice. Same off centered. It's it's better left to right, but uh, top to bottom, it's it's a little off centered. But it's you know, Reggie Miller's rookie. Next is and this was a steal. It was an absolute steal. This was a Gary Carter rookie, and for 75 tops in really nice condition, $16. I paid $16 for this. I mean, it's really, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's, it's in pretty darn good shape. So I think I'm definitely going to get that graded. It might come back a 7 or a 6, but I'm fine with that. I think it's nice. Next. Well, this is a um, 1970. I only paid four dollars for this. It's a 1978 Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I never had any Kareem Abdul-Jabbar cards, at least nothing older. So uh, I thought this was kind of cool for four bucks. Why not? Yeah, that's cheap. For thirteen dollars, I got a um, a Robert Parrish rookie, which I thought was really cool. You don't see these every day. Um, 1978 tops Robert Parrish rookie thought that was kind of cool big chief yeah that was a good deal for 13 bucks All right, now we're gonna get into some of the big boys well not yet so same I got a great deal on this Robin Yount 75 tops again this Robin Yount rookie I got for um, $30 I thought that was, uh, I don't know, I'm not focusing. There we go. It's pretty good for 75 tops. We got into, like, it's it's really hard to keep these things nice. 75 tops, uh, it's hard to high grade. All right, so the big ones. All right, I paid $95 for this. Uh, this is... Uh, this is Jim Brown's second year, and it's in really nice shape. Really nice shape. That is a 1959 Tops Jim Brown. I think I'll definitely get that graded. Yeah, it's nice. So I paid 95 for that. Next, I got um, 140. I definitely overspent for this. This is, I'm. I totally admit, I paid too much for this card, but I got a Scottie Pippen rookie for 140. Too much. I think this card's worth 100. Um, but I wanted it, so I paid for it. Next is um yeah this card's in really nice shape I got a 1962 Fran Tarkington rookie <laughs> I paid I paid two hundred dollars for this it's it's in really nice what would it what appealed to me was the fact that it's a black card and there's not a whole lot of white around those edges and corners and um that's got to stand for something. So, and the the cor the edges, other than the fact that it's it's 
it's high I think this will grade well for 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 the the age it is so this is a 1962 Topps Fran Tarkington rookie I paid 200 bucks for this and I think it's worth every penny that'll be nice when it's slabbed and last but not least I paid I paid I paid three hundred and fifty dollars for this card but it's gorgeous it's the same thing black card so it's hard to grade 1962 tops it's a, a Mike Dicker rookie it's in really nice shape too so I'm super happy with that honestly think that the Tarkington is worth more than the Ditka but um yeah it's the same this guy the collection that I got it from um he kept his cards in really nice shape obviously I I, I missed out on the Jordan the Jordan was way out of my price range I, it was a PSA 8 um its value would be about five thousand dollars it went for forty one hundred I think that was a steal even with the um the buyer's premium that was a steal I think because even now that the hype is over and the market is kind of coming back down to um, to reality uh, that was still way under market value so yeah I paid 350 for this dick a rookie I even have another box you want to do another box because I got a lot more coming I don't even know what's in here it could be just Pokemon packs for all I know I did buy a lot of those for the kid because on au in auctions you can get the the packs the same ones they sell in Walmart for like 275 instead of 399 so I pick them up when I can even with the buyer's premium it's still a, it's still a good deal there's a lot in here I think that's foam that's wrap bubble wrap okay Okay, and I have what I paid. Like I said, I only I'm um, I'm telling you what I paid, so you know at least where my head is at, what I what I value these things at. Um, uh, just so you get an idea of how I'm judging the market and how you might want to judge the market. Obviously, you make your own decisions, but. Oh, this is a mess. Well, th uh, this one was in like five card lots. I don't know how I'm gonna. All right, so each one of these was a five card lot. Oh, they're numbered. That's good. Okay, and they're numbered in order. All right, so lot, lot two, three, one. Five card lot of mixed sports cards, relics, and autographs. Let's see. We got a Corey Dillon all upper deck NFL patch. Got a Alex Collins rookie revolution, a 1990 score Frank Thomas, which is one of my favorite cards. Got Carl Malone's third year Fleer and a John Olerud 1990 Leaf. I paid a dollar twenty-five for these. <laughs> that was a pretty good deal. Number. 239. Okay. Let's say Dante Pettis, rated rookie. Got a, I don't know why, a David Greenwood, 1986 87 Fleer. There's an Aaron Rodgers, but this isn't his. This is a Prism draft pick, like a, uh, uh, it's a 2019, so that's not his rate, uh, rookie. An all-star Cal Ripken Jr., Flair Ultra 92, and another Frank Thomas rookie. I grabbed them when I could. Uh, this lot of five cards was 225. I think it's all right. Next, Let's see, where's number 261? That's 240. Oh, 242 is next. All right. Number 242. These are all five card lots, I think. So we got a Paxton Lynch rookie, Benoit Benjamin, and a Wayne Cooper. 
Then we got a Joey Bosa draft pick and a Dwight Gooden 85 tops rookie. In really nice shape too. This lot was two dollars. Another really good deal, I think. So two sixty-one. <laughs> this one was cra is crazy how little I spent on this. <laughs> I can't believe it. So this is an 86 Fleer Jose Canseco. <laughs> a uh, 91 Stadium Club Nolan Ryan. This is a John Rocker. <laughs> I don't know why it's in there. Melvin Gordon rookie draft pick. And a Michael Gallup rookie draft pick. Um, <laughs> this was a $1.25. <laughs> The Kitseko alone is worth more than a dollar twenty-five, and it's in nice shape. So, yeah, dollar twenty-five on this group of five. That I think that's a steal. It's a total steal. All right, next is two. Nope, it's three twenty-four. This one I paid five fifty-four. We'll see why. I don't know. All right, so we got a, a 88 tops Vinny Testaverde rookie. Well, that's probably why. I got a 1983 Joe Montana. That's his fourth year, fifth year. So Joe Montana's fifth year. A Gary Niebauer and a Jim Davenport. But actually, they're in really nice shape for 1970 tops. And a Robbie Alomar rookie, which, you know, for 88 Dunras is not the best five bucks five bucks for all that cool uh, 408 408 this one I paid a dollar 25 for got an Isaiah third year the Jason Kidd Pacific Draft Picks Collection. A Jason Kidd Crown. Pacific. Rookie. Another Robbie Alomar. And Marshall Falk Classic Draft Picks. For a dollar twenty five. I'm already got twenty two ninety five. It's certainly not worth twenty two ninety five. Only twenty thousand are produced. Okay. Only twenty thousand. All right, next, page two. There's only four more lots. I, no, I did not pay 22 cents. I paid, okay. This next one, 409, I paid $5 for. Don't know why. Let's see. A Dean Memminger. Oh, I see why. 1973 tops. Charles Oakley, rookie. That's why. 1986-87 Fleer, Charles Oakley rookie. Jason Kidd, looks like probably the second or third year. Third year. That is a Boomer rookie, I think. No, that's Boomer's third year. And another Jason Kidd uh, rookie class draft pick. Or uh, rookie. So, for the Oakley rookie alone, I think that's worth five bucks. I think. If not, it might be around five bucks. But eighty-six, eighty-seven Fleer is in such high demand. Um, you can't get it. Nobody can afford it. So there might be some more demand on uh, the. There's a lot of rookies in that set too. So I think it was a good, a good buy. All right, this pack is four dollars and twenty-five cents. Got a future shock, Joey or Amon Green rookie. A Future Shock Jacquez Green rookie. This is a Randall Cunningham. Third year. Keenan McCardell. I don't know if that's his rookie. I don't think so. But this is why I paid four twenty five for the Fleer Ultra Brett Favre rookie. It's a nice shape too. Very cool. seems like there's always that one hit in each one of these like you know they're smart they're trying to move move cards uh 434 i paid two dollars for this lot 
two bucks. Ramon Hernandez Bowman got a Mark Grace rookie, 88 on Russ. A Nelson Bryles. That's probably why I paid two bucks for this. 1970 tops Nelson Bryles. It's in really nice shape. So that's a Scotty Pippen second year. That's a 90-91, I think. Yes. 90-91, or 89-90, I'm sorry. 89-90, Scotty Pippen. And a Ryan Klesko, Atlanta Braves sample? Pinnacle Summit. It's a sample card. Hmm. There might be something to that. I don't know, but it's still Ryan Klesko. And last, um, I paid a dollar twenty-five for this lot. Okay, first we got a Isaiah third year, a Tony Gwynn. I don't know what this is. It looks like a book. Does it fold out? I'll pull that out later, maybe. A uh, was that Brian St. Pierre patch card? Grant Hill rookie and a Stefan Marbury. I gotta pull out this Gwyn. Does this thing unfold? It's rough anyway. It's not not very good. No, nope, it does not unfold. Okay, what is that? It's just the three ply. I don't know. That's the weirdest weirdest Tony Gwynn card I've ever seen. Okay, so that's it. So you kind of get an idea of what I'm buying. Um, rookies, rookies, and more rookies in high grade. I think um, if you can get them in high grade, it's it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. At least for now. Um, I have three more boxes, and I still have more stuff on the way. I bought, if you follow me on Instagram now, Junkyard junkyard breaks one word on Instagram uh, you can give us a follow and you'll get an idea of stuff that I get in the mail before I get to talk about it on video because right now we're recording videos today is July 17th this video won't be out until August 14th because I have one a day going for a month now but we got um, well here 9293 Fleer Ultra. I'm gonna go shack hunting. I got two boxes. I because I didn't get the SP1 Michael Jordan, I bought two more boxes. Maybe. Cause I wanna get them. <laughs> I could just buy one for thirty dollars. I don't know why I'm spending well, I'm still only spending thirty dollars in boxes and at least I get to hunt down I can get Chipper Jones and Messina rookies as well as a Jordan, but um I don't know. I'm having fun. <laughs> I got a box of 88 Tops football. There's there's really only a couple of cards like valuable in here. Um, Bo Jackson rookie is like 10 or 12 bucks, and um, yeah, that's probably it. But I didn't pay a whole lot for this, so it it should just should be fun. I like old football or. Well, old, old as I am, football. And it's just, I'll be, what, 13 when this came out? So, uh, it's oldish football for me. At least that I can afford. And, um, what else? I think that's it. I got some more 2020 score football. I'm trying to get more of those Joe Burrow cards. I think. If I'm being totally honest with you, I think he's going to be a stud. I think he's going to do really well. Like, as uh, not confident as I have been with quarterbacks of the past, I think he's going to be all right. Um, he's got a nice um, foundation. It's not like you're David Carr on the Texans or um, Rosen on the Cardinals. Like, they're not being thrown to the Wolves. At least he's got a nice base around him on that team so he could thrive. So, I think, uh, although I don't feel the same about Tua, I think Burrow will be the guy out of this class for sure. I don't, I don't, I'm not as confident in Tua as I am in Burrow. 
but I'm I'm liking Burrow cards right now. Um, what else? I think that's it. I'm sure you know we can just make a video and talk about more. I got I got a box down here, two more boxes down here, and some more on the way because I went a little auction happy. And I, I keep forgetting about comics. I got a lot of comics too coming, so we'll go over those too. And I'm still gotta record that video with my friend about our uh, top ten videos. So we'll be doing a couple of those soon too. So anyway, like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about the purchases I've made, and and if you're making anything, any cool purchases too. Please let me know. I'd like to hear about it. I'm sure if you have any advice that um, you think I should should pick up, then I'll pick up some like especially basketball. I don't know a whole lot about it. That's why I go Luca. I go Zion. Um, and maybe I'll get a Giannis soon before it gets too crazy. But after that, I'm going back to what I know, which is 80s dudes. So, um, yeah, any advice you can give me would be great. Um, so, like I said, like and subscribe. Comment down below. Um, check out the Instagram. Give it a follow. And check out uh, the Etsy store, Whatever Threads. I have Junkyard Break shirt up there if you want. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much.